All right, so we are live. We'll see if anybody gets on here, and then I will get started with tonight's live. It feels like it's becoming a routine thing that every uh, Saturday night, it, I did it last weekend, and here we are again. I don't know. Hauls are just very easy to do on a live stream. Plus, it gives me more chances to answer questions and stuff like that. So give everybody a couple minutes to get in, and then we'll get right going with it. Because there's a lot to talk about between Kroger um, and Walmart. Hi, Ashley. And then I'm also going to talk about how I'm changing the way I coupon. Uh, hi, Sylvia. Hi, Kim. Hi, Amal. Um, yes, because I am changing how I coupon a little bit. So I'm going to talk about that. And I really feel like it might give you guys some ideas um, as well to talk about how my new ideas. Oh my gosh. If you're just about to head to Kroger, you're definitely going to want to stay tuned because the deals are just that good. And there's some new ones that I found today that I didn't have in my video on Wednesday. So I'm super, super pumped. So give about 40 more seconds. Sorry if my voice sounds a little rough. Um, I'm back with this horrible allergies. I, I feel like it's even worse than an allergy. Like I think I might be getting bronchitis or something. I don't know. It's just like it never ends. So <laughs> it's the constant up and down in Ohio. It, it's like today it was over 70 degrees and tomorrow with the high is going to be 44. It's just the weather bounces around here and it just messes up everyone's sinuses. So it's just, it's awful. Okay. So we got 21. Some people might, Oh my gosh, 26. Yeah, and it's supposed to snow next week. So it's like it just bounces up and down. Hey from Alabama. Hey to you. Hi, Tanya. Hi, Alexia or Alexa. We're just going to dive right in. I'm 22, you guys. So hopefully some more will slide in. But I was finishing up that big New Year's bonus to get $10 on 30 rebates. And then also there is a weekend warrior to get a dollar on 12. So I was like, you know what? I only need 10 for that new year's bonus, but I'm just going to go ahead and get the 12 because it was going to be an extra dollar rebate. So I was like, why not? So I did 12 rebates. This stuff was actually from last. This stuff was from Tuesday and Wednesday. I just had to run in. So I picked up things and the rest of this was from today at Kroger and then this is all from Walmart. So I'm going to talk about my deals first and then I will talk about changing the way I coupon because like I said, I've made a couple little changes. So this was back from Tuesday and Wednesday. Um, this is no longer available and this is no longer available, but every other deal here you can do right now. So I just did the poise. These were 51 cents after I bought it and the smuckers were free because there's a dollar 50. I bought a, <coughs> sorry, a dollar 50 Kroger cash back. And then there was a 50 cent bonus. I did it twice, which this is my second time doing it. So that just basically made this free. So that was a great moneymaker. And then the Truvia. This is $3.99. Buy one, get one. Had $1.50 digital, so I paid $2.49 and got back three for my bottom. So $0.51 cent moneymaker, which is just awesome. I would have done that today, but my store is literally still wiped out. I can't even believe it. Okay, and then I've done the L'Oreal, and I'm absolutely in love with this deal. This, like, saved the haul, having this L'Oreal. These are on clearance at Kroger for $2.79. There's a $3 off to either a digital coupon or a paper printable coupon. You guys can print out. So you're going to print that coupon. With tax, it brought down to $2.98, and I got a $5 Catalina back. Literally, on anything in Kroger, I rolled into other deals. So that's just amazing. Huge moneymaker. So I took a couponing. I hadn't been couponing anymore this week. I had kind of a busy week. Um, so a lot going on this week and weekend. So I finally got out couponing today. And I did L'Oreal twice. So I used the digital coupon for this one. Uh, I have multi a couple different digital accounts. Like I said, family members let me use our coupons. So I did it once on this one, once on this account. So I did that twice. So again, $2 and two cent moneymaker. Hi to everybody who just stumbled in. So anyways, that was like a $2 moneymaker each time. I did this Catalina's rolled it on down here and I did all these deals. So I did the Pine Saw, $1.49 mega sale. I used a dollar off two coupon from the one five smart source. Then I got back. So that makes them 99 cents. Then I got back 75 cents on saving star for buying one. So essentially for the pine saw, 
$1.98 my 75 cents is like $1.24 for the two pine saws, which I think is a good deal. It's, we used to get these all the time for like 50 cents or whatever, but we really don't anymore. Um, but, you know, still not a bad price at all. Okay, the Kroger Juice, I messed this up. It's 99 cents. I had a 45 cent Ibotta, and there also was a KCB Kroger Cash Back. If you don't know what that is, I always have a tutorial video for that on the Rebay app playlist. I really figured as much as I talk about it, I wouldn't have anyone who wasn't aware of what it was. But, um, yep, yeah, that seriously, I've done that too, David. I did that on Monday with something at Dollar General. Anyways, at a KCB, and if you don't know what that is, like I said, I always have it under the Rebate App Tutorials playlist. But anyways, I didn't have my Kroger Cash back loaded until I got to the checkouts. I don't think I'll get it for this, but it's all right. This still was $0.54 cents after I bought it. If you had that KCB loaded, it would have been $0.09, cents, but it, I, it's okay. I'm, I'm okay with it. Next, I grabbed the Rubbermaid Easy Finds. These are $4.12. There is an Ibotta for two fifty dollars back that came today. And then there is also a Kroger Cash back for $2. So I'm getting four fifty dollars back on a four twelve dollars item, which made these a nice little moneymaker. And it's driving me crazy that it's sliding out of the box. So it's a nice little moneymaker. And I know last a couple weeks ago, people were going crazy getting those big ones and thinking they were free. And um, I didn't post about it because... Um, I didn't post about it because I knew that Kroger Cash Back would not stack with the digital coupon. And I've gotten multiple reports that people didn't get their $15 Kroger Cash Back. So sometimes when you see posts of people saying you can use Kroger Cash Back with the digital, whether it's a 5X or whatever, you if you have a digital coupon or a paper coupon, Kroger Cash Back will not give it back. Maybe you'll get it on a whim and it works accidentally, but you at this point, if you wanted to get it back, you really don't have an argument. So... You're just, I feel so bad for those people who are out the $15 from Kroger Cash back, but um, that's the unfortunate that they lost out on that. So, like I said, a lot of you guys might have um, tried that a couple weeks ago and it didn't work, so you can do this deal as a substitute. All right, the Hot Cocoa at Kroger, $1.25, the Kroger brand. I love that Ibotta's doing rebates on Kroger brands. I love that. There's a 50 cent Ibotta and a 50 cent Kroger Cash back, making them 25 cents. Well, you're very lucky, C. Davis, because I've had multiple people tell me they didn't get theirs. Okay, thank you to Coupon Savvy Shorty, I believe, on Instagram. These are $1.50 each. There is a dollar off one digital coupon. Dollar off one. I'm really shocked they did that for you because their site specifically says you can't do that. A dollar digital coupon. So you pay $2 out of pocket, and there's $2.19 on two for my bada. So, um, it makes these a 19 cent moneymaker. Yeah. And you should have definitely, since you didn't do the digital, you should have got yours. And I don't think they'll have a problem giving it to you. M trap. Since you didn't use the digital, you should be able to get it. I believe the checkout 51 says you can't use a coupon with it, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. I haven't looked at it on there for the pine saw. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay. The Suave Body Wash is a great deal. These are $1.49 each. There is a $1 digital coupon that popped up, which is awesome. Makes these 49 cents. But Fetch has 50 cents back. So in total, for some reason, give me 55 cents. I think because I have the deodorant on there. But anyways, 55 cents. What were those GFB? They're called the GFB Gluten-Free Bar. That's what they're called. So anyways, $1.49, $1 digital, 50 cents back on Fetch. Nice one penny money maker for some body wash. Okay, the deodorant deal. This wasn't marked the other day. My store finally marked it and got like 40 of these in stock, which is awesome. This is a great price. They're nine and cents. There's a 75 cents in Ibotta, making it 24 cents. Uh, I tell y'all, I'm tired of these things. The Arx Nut Butter, <laughs> $1.29. There is a 40 cent Ibotta and a 40 cent Kroger Cash back, making these. Um, the KCB won't work with the digital coupon, but I used mine last week. But if you wanted to just get um, two of these that are two for three, you could not load the digital and you would get back the Ibotta and the Kroger Cash back, which would be a much better moneymaker, actually. So you totally could do that. Um, thanks for reminding me about the Kroger Cash back. I forgot about that. Um, so anyways, this is like 39 cents. And then I did the ibuprofen again. These are a dollar. I had that dollar 75 off of two digital. Or not digital, I'm sorry. Tear pad in the store, making us 25 cents for two. So let's go over the money. So when I went in Kroger the other day, I got the L'Oreal. The L'Oreal is a $2.02 money maker. 
The Smuckers and the Poise, that was on Tuesday. This was a 39 cent moneymaker with tax, and the Trivia was a 51 cent moneymaker. So today I did the L'Oreal twice. That was another 202 moneymaker for each. And then all this stuff was 627. Did I mention the Scott? I don't think I did. It's 399 with a dollar digital. So essentially, after everything at Kroger, this was a 69 cent moneymaker for all this stuff at Kroger, not even counting bonuses. Just after overage from that L'Oreal. So I'm loving that L'Oreal. I cleared my Kroger out. I know that's probably mean, but some other people got it because there was a bunch of it on Wednesday. Then I went back today and there was four left. So I took the last four clearance ones. Uh, <laughs> love it. So I crushed that deal. But what you can do is you can get just the regular L'Oreal's that are $3.99 and you could use that 3F2 coupon and get the $5 Catalina, and they would just be free, which is still a great deal, and probably I'm going to go back and do that. So, yeah, really awesome. Okay, and then I went over to Walmart um, tonight to finish up that bonus, and Walmart was unbelievable. I am, like, really excited. This is at the Maple Avenue store, and I just wanted to use up some coupons before they expired, and it just worked out to be a great shopping trip. So, let's talk about clearance. So, the Suave Essentials was on clearance, this conditioner was 75 cents. And let me give you barcodes. And then um, Fetch had 75 cents back. So essentially, this is just free. A um, little bit of tax, but I'm happy with it. Okay, Dove Men's. Thank you for the heads up on L'Oreal. Oh, yes, for sure. Um, it, it's been a while since Kruger's really had that good of a deal on shampoo. And I love Catalina deals like that. And I also was told um, by somebody that you can buy four of them in the same transaction and you will actually just get two $5 Catalinas, which is really great. So like if you want to have, get four L'Oreal's, use your 3F2 digital and then your 3F2 paper coupon, you could do that and then get back $10 of Catalinas. So you definitely can do that. The only bummer is the paper coupon says limit one, but awesome deal on that L'Oreal. Okay, so the Dove Men's is $4.48, and there is a $2 coupon from Sunday's paper. So you pay $2.48. I don't know if this is on clearance or what, because um, the other ones are a little bit more than that. So you pay $2.48 out of pocket. You get back $1.25. Or no, I'm sorry. $1, yeah, $1.25 on Fetch and $1.50 on Saving Star. So this is basically like you're getting back $2.75 off $2.48. So essentially, this is like a $0.25 cent money maker for the Dove. Okay. Makeup, if you get Revlon, Alme, coupons like that, I don't get them in this area. But if you get them, go to Walmart because they're going to have, you're going to get so much overage on that kind of stuff. We don't get those coupons here. I saw like Revlon Foundation for three. So there's $5 coupons from Sunday's paper. So you'd make two bucks. But um, I don't get any coupons like that. But I did find this Maybelline for $1.50. It's a lipstick. And there's a $2 I bought us. It's just a 50 cent moneymaker. But it worked in the bonus, and it was all right because they were out of stay free, which is what I was going to get. Um, but this actually worked out better. Revlon Emery boards. I keep loving this deal. These are $1.94. There is a $2 check off 51 rebate, making these, like, free. So awesome. Pringles Wavy. This isn't the best deal, but it worked. These are $1.44. The 50 cent I bought us at 94 cents. And these are my moneymaker deals from contacting manufacturers, emailing them, and asking for coupons. So, Kelsey B. Says did a big series last year about emailing manufacturers for coupons. And we, like, loaded up. It was, like, last March, April, something like that. Um, so, it was the new year. And I messaged her. And I was like, hey, you think they'd do this again? And we, she was like, um, she was going to try. So, I was like, you know what? I'm going to go through and try, too. So, we've kind of been networking with each other about what we've gotten in coupons. Um, so if you haven't watched her series from last year, go watch it. And I just like go down and start emailing companies. But the coupons I've gotten so far have been awesome. So Bob's Red Mill sent me $2 off one coupon. This is $1.88. So it gave me 12 cents overage. And then there is a 50 cent I bought a rebate. So this is like a 62 cent money maker. So Delicious sent me a free product coupon. This is two eighteen, so it was free, and I got a dollar for my bot. It's a dollar money maker. However, so delicious does have one dollar printables on their site, so you could pay a dollar eighteen and get a dollar Ibotta if you want to do it that way. But if you want to email companies, go for it. I also got free product coupons from Pop Chips, Budig, um, Smashmallow, and somebody else. Pop Chips? Did I say that? 
I got lots of good coupons so far, so I'm really excited. I'm not even barely made a dent into it, so I'm going to definitely contact some more. Okay, poise. Thank you to Amy Stotts for this. Yes, definitely great. Oh, did somebody ask? Let me go make sure I didn't miss any comments. What's the L'Oreal? Okay, these at my store are on Kroger. They're on clearance for $2.79. $3 off two coupon, and it's printing out a $5 Catalina when you buy two of them. Okay, back to Walmart. The Poise is a great deal. These are $4.84. There is a $3 printable on their site. Scans just fine. So you paid $1.84. Fetch is $2 back, and Ibotta has $2 back. So it's like a $2 something moneymaker on the poise, which is awesome. This deal ends today on the Big Sole. These are $3.27. I had a $4 coupon. It's fine. Instead of any Big Sole, this is Big Sole, making these a nice little moneymaker. Truvia is not the best at Walmart. It's much better over at Kroger, but Kroger was out. I was going to go to Dollar General, but this is like kind of how I feel about simplifying this year. I did not feel like going to 40 different stores today, so I just did it at Walmart. $3.24, $1 coupon, so $2.24 out of pocket, $1.50 at bottom, $0.74, cents, and I really like Truvia, so I'm down with that. And then I did grab the Cottonelle. I had so much mad overage here. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to get some toilet paper and use the overage. Kroger was overage. Walmart was crazy overage. I'm just going to use it on things I really want. So Cottonelle, this was $6.48. Had a $1 coupon, so it's $5.48. I got $2.50 from Fetch. So this was a pretty good deal. It was like 3 bucks. I don't think it's too shabby at all. So I ran, crunched the numbers on Walmart, and everything at Walmart was 13 cents. After the rebates, this all was 13 cents. Everything at Kroger was a 69 cent moneymaker. So remember, that means everything today was like a 56 cent moneymaker before the bonus. Before the bonus, this is a 69, or no, a 56 cent moneymaker. And when you factor in that bonus, I got back like $4.38 from the bonus. So this is like a $5 moneymaker, which covered my cost the other day of like $4. So basically everything I got for this huge bonus was free because I made so much money back today, which is awesome. Awesome. Does anybody have any questions about the haul portion of this? How much was the Kroger apple juice? It was 99 cents. Yes, the American Greetings did reset for me. I just didn't end up doing it today. Because I didn't really need a Valentine's card. It was 99 cents, Cynthia. Oh, yes. Overage helps tremendously. And I like using Overage to get things like toilet paper. I got two things of toilet paper in here today. And to me, that's winning at that point. Being able to get paper products that I want to... I love being so stocked up on paper goods. And it's getting like to the point where there's so much paper products um, in my stock. And I never used to have that. And that's really been tremendously a help. So... At this point, I'm going to talk about changing how I coupon, and it's a couple little components to it, and nothing for you guys to worry about. Um, it just kind of gives some ideas. So if you guys saw my haul on Monday and what I've been doing the last few, I'd say a couple months, I was doing some pretty serious couponing. I was going to, oh my gosh, I was going to... CVS every single week. Yeah. Oh, thank you for reminding me about that sweet mama. Last time it didn't work for me either. So I'm anticipating that I will have to call Kroger Cash back for that. But honestly, last time I had to contact them, they were super great and gave me even extra back for the courtesy um, for even having to call. They were like, you shouldn't have to call about this. We're going to credit it. But I don't think they're going to credit it either. So I probably will have to call about that after the seven days are up. But like I said, I was going... No, the Kins is not a part of the buy six, save three. It's the Kroger dressing that is. So I've been going to so many stores like CVS, Rite Aid. Uh, I mean, even last week, Walgreens and stuff. And it's just like my stock's really good and everything like that. I've got to start school back up. So as I've been thinking more about it, I've been like, you know what? I want to get my couponing. I, I'm going to try to simplify and really focus, I, most of the last year, I focused on two stores, Walmart and Kroger. That's just what I've done. And I kind of right now feel like that's what I'm going to do. Now, with that being said, that doesn't mean if some awesome deals don't pop up somewhere, 
that are very low out of pocket, like Dollar General, which has kind of been a very fun place for me to shop lately. Um, I'm not saying I'm opposed to that, but as of right now, I don't plan on doing any drugstore shopping for right now, so that's a major couponing change. But my second couponing change is something I'm really, really excited about. So a lot of you guys, when I do hauls like this, have asked me about out-of-pocket. You say you don't like Ibotta because it's a lot of out-of-pocket. Uh, oh, absolutely. Kroger is not going anywhere. I love Kroger so much. And Walmart and Kroger are the most convenient places for me. They're just easy. In this town, Walmart and Kroger are right along the main path. If you're going anywhere, you're probably going to pass Walmart and Kroger. So those are definitely very accessible stores um, in this area. So a lot of you guys have said before, like, I really don't like the idea of having to pay, you know, $60 out of pocket. Even if I do get it back, that kind of throws you off. And at first, um, I didn't really think about it. But the more I've actually sat back and thought about it, I've been like, wow. You know, when you think about all you're charging, if you're charging into a credit card or that you pay off each month, of course, or if you are um, on a debit card and you're like, oh my gosh, I spent like $600 on rebates this month. Even if you did get a lot back, you're still like, wow, that's a lot. So for simplicity purposes this year, I have decided to start rolling the money like I would an extra buck. And I've, I've wanted to do this for a while, but I haven't. And I actually find, found out a good way to do this after talking to Kelsey again on um, Kelsey B Saves. Go, go subscribe if you haven't. Um, she she um, gave me the idea of e PayPal debit card, which basically whatever's in your PayPal balance that is on that PayPal debit card, and you can use it at any store, which is awesome. I used it to pay for this stuff at Kroger today. Um, so the PayPal debit card at places like Kroger, but not all apps let you do PayPal. Like Shopkick, actually I think Shopkick does, but like Fetch Rewards doesn't let you do PayPal. You have to get a store gift card. So I use Fetch and Shopkick gift cards at Walmart tonight to pay for this stuff. So that's basically what I'm going to start doing is being, and you have to be pretty, I don't want to say strict, but you do have to calculate it out and make sure you have enough. I passed up some rebates tonight because I would have had to pay out of pocket for them. And I'm just wanting to get to the point where we're not charging $300 a month or we're not charging blah, 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 or on the bank card or whatever that we're rolling like an extra care buck on that PayPal card or in store gift cards. And just like, that's kind of what, what I'm doing this year. And I did it today and I'm really excited. And here's how it works. So I had $25 in that PayPal card and I had $21.49 on Walmart gift cards. I used 18 something in gift cards today. Fetch it. Oh, I didn't know they did that. Ashley did not know that. So like the Walmart gift cards is $18.49. I used that, and then um, this was, I used PayPal. I'm sorry, I'm like I said, I'm sick, so I'm not really thinking very clearly right now. But I got back, like, way more than that. I feel like I got back $40 into PayPal, and I think I'll get back a $5 Walmart e-gift card. So you get, you get the idea, hopefully. Rolling those gift cards like you roll an extra care buck, and you'll go up and down in it like we do at CVS. If we spend out money on things... We go down, but when we have our money makers, they help build it back up. And it does make you think. Like there was a deal in Savings Star that I think was, I don't remember, $7 back or something. I just didn't do it because um, because I didn't wasn't really close to cashing out. And it would have took a lot longer to build it back up, putting out that much out of pocket. Okay, it's the PayPal card and email printer. It is a physical um, debit card. So basically what it do, it took a week to get here. They sent me the debit card. And you guys activate it online and you set it up with a pin. So you insert it. It's a chip card. You insert it in the credit card reader in your pin and it automatically has your PayPal balance on it. So like 25 something was on mine. I used whatever this came down to be. Um, you can do that. Um, sweet mama, I did that on Monday. Thank you all um, for saying you hope I feel better. 
That's a great idea. We tend to use Ibotto. We save up all year. That's a very good idea to save up for Christmas. Um, just as long as you cash out pretty routinely and don't let it, your Ibotta get locked. But I definitely, I know a lot of people who save up for Christmas. And that's a very good idea too to use it like a savings account. It's easier to budget that way. Um, I definitely think that's a good idea too. Whatever works for you guys um, in your own lives. So I, yeah, like I said, I really like the idea. Any charges. If you get the PayPal business debit card, no. And that's what I got, which you don't have to have a business for that. I'm not really sure why they call it business. It's just basically, um, you can't do withdrawals or whatever on this. But if you do withdrawals, there's a fee. But no, as long as you get the PayPal business debit card, does not have any charge. And you actually, a plus, you do get 1% back. I know it doesn't sound like that much, but you get 1% back um, for all your purchases. So I really like that idea a lot. Yep, absolutely. Um, yeah, I bought it has definitely locked in the past. If you get too much money sitting in there, they'll get suspicious and they'll lock your account to do an audit. Or even if you earn a certain amount. I've done big hauls and they've audited my account and locked me and prohibited me from cashing out. Like, yeah, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. It's awful. Oh, that's awesome. Going to order today. That's awesome. I love it. And this is my first day using it. And yes, you do have to think of it and keep track of how much you're spending so you don't go over. But I personally really like that because it helps keep me in check um, to see what I'm doing. I really, really, this is only day one of it, and I already love it. I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Plus, I when I did do CVS, I constantly got frustrated about having to pay tax all the time. Well, if I had that PayPal card and I'm making money on Ibotta, that could help cover your CVS tax if you're still into that place. But I feel like I'm getting stuff. I'm getting everything that I really would have, like paper goods. I was getting that stuff at CVS. Body wash and deodorant, shampoo. I feel like if I work hard enough on Ibotta, I don't have to, uh, I just don't have to go to CBS. Does your fetch not add any points? Um, what do you mean, does fetch not add any points? Usually I always get 25 points. Exactly, Tanya. I try to cash out as soon as I hit 20. I don't ever let it add up longer than that. I never get those good CRTs. I, I, that really disappointed me because I would have probably still done CVS if I had got the CRT still. Hasn't been adding any points. That's not, that's definitely not right. You probably should go ahead and put a ticket into them would be my advice. Um, because that's not normal. I always at least get 25 points for any receipt. Oh, don't be sorry at all for the questions. That's why I'm here for it. It's PayPal that sends you the card. So you just go on PayPal and you request that debit card. And in a week, PayPal will send you the card. Fetch, if you're just scanning random receipts for Fetch that don't have an offer, it won't add up very fast. And to be honest with you, I don't do those. Just scan any receipt kind of things. The only times I do Fetch is if there's the special offers like this, 750 points back on Suave or 2,500 points on Cottonelle. That's the only time I use Fetch, to be honest, is for rebates like that. I don't just go scan random receipts. That's why I don't do Receipt Pal and Receipt Hog and all that. Because I don't feel like the payout's worth my time. I pretty much only do the rebates when they're those special point offers like that. Okay. I have to send in a ticket anytime. I'm having a problem with I bought it. It won't take a picture of my receipt and when it won't scan. Have you tried deleting the app and reinstalling it. Um, that's honestly, that's weird. I actually used to have that problem too. Um, and it didn't get fixed. So I got a new, well, it was my grandma's I bought it that she used and it would not work um, half the time. Maybe that it was that or Saving Star, and it didn't work till she got a new phone. I know it's crazy. Hopefully, that's not what it is for you. Are there any good Shopkick? Shopkick is 
really not good right now. It's definitely taken a dive. I hope that fixes it for you. Um, and if it doesn't, maybe just go ahead and send a ticket into Ibotta and see if they can help you out. Maybe they can give you some advice. Okay, do you have a second phone for couponing? I do not, because most of the rebate apps say um, limit one per house or whatever. Nita, I have only had Fetch, and I'm at 22000 I use Fetch a lot more than I used to. Um, I, it didn't used to be very good, but if you faithfully use it, you definitely can get some crazy deals on it, and I try to show those in my hauls. Um, it, it didn't used to be very good, but it's gotten a lot better. And there used to be a lot more glitches in the system, like things wouldn't work, but they've gotten a lot better about that too. Absolutely. Um, Flower the Spoiled Husky. Glad to give advice. I just downloaded savings for last night. It seems there's not very good offers. Okay, here's my advice for Saving Star. Sunday mornings and Thursday mornings, get on and clip every single offer, whether you think you'll use it or not. Because if you don't clip them, you'll lose them. They won't last. So clip them immediately. Because um, like tonight, if you checked on Saturday night, there won't hardly be any good offers on there. Because they actually go away pretty quick if you don't clip them. Um, and Saving Star, I mean, it's definitely not as good as it used to be. It was like the first app for rebates. So they've not really made a whole lot of improvement, um, in my opinion. <clears throat> Sorry. So, yeah, but... Check it Sunday morning, Thursday night, or Thursday morning. Yes, I agree. Fetch is very good for bonuses. So that's kind of how I'm changing my couponing this year. And I do, yes, Fetch is nice because of the low options of cashing out. Totally agree. You can get a $5 gift card to Walmart, which is probably what I'll do today. Brenda, uh, what did I miss? Well, I did go over these deals, and I talked about how I was going to, uh, um, how I'm changing my couponing for this year, which... This video, it'll probably take 10 minutes. After I end this live, it will go right back up and you can go back and watch the deals. If you have a specific deal you want me to explain, I can go through and explain that. That's the problem with lives. Um, I always feel bad if someone comes in late um, that I feel like they missed everything. But that's why it's good for replays. <sighs> So, I came in late. Can you go over the products you got? I hate when one expires on me. Why do you plan to change? I made the change now. I'm um, just with how I'm rolling the rebate money with the PayPal debit card. Did you get $10? Um, no, I didn't get a $10 off two diapers. Or I haven't checked for one. Um, let me do that right now because now you got me curious. Um, I don't see a $10 off two. Yeah, seriously, it's, it's so annoying. The allergies, it is, it's crazy. I love using Venmo because you can move or transfer the money for free. That's awesome. I have heard of Venmo. I've actually personally never tried it, but I have heard of it and I've heard it's good too. And they very well could have a debit card thing like PayPal. I just haven't looked into it. Any more questions? If not, I'll probably go ahead and shut down this live. I appreciate 86 of you made it on here. The deals are really, really great. Um, the replay is going to load. Give it 10 or 15 minutes, then it should load for you guys who came a little bit late for you to see the deals. Um, I really, really enjoyed this. Oh, that's awesome on the Huggies. We just bought some Huggies today, actually, for a baby shower. Um, hope I'm late. Is this for Kroger? This is all Kroger. And this is all Walmart. Oh, where's the super chat? I actually don't have super chat set up, which I know is kind of dumb because quite a few people have asked me about that. I really need to figure that out. It kind of confuses me. Um, I'm not really sure exactly what super chat is. I'm kind of still a newbie at the lives. Um, I've done them a few times, but I'm still not an expert at it. <laughs> I hope the quality's good on these two. 
Oh, thank you all so much. All right, so I'm going to head off for tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed, and thank you guys so, so, so much for watching.